And final remaining piece of the old sappy paper mill in Muskegon has now come down. Dozens gathered to watch and listen as the second smokestack at the site along Muskegon Lake was toppled over this morning. 24 Hour News 8's Evan Dean shows us the demolition and explains what's next for the historic site. With a shade of purple early this morning, the sun rose for the last time on the last sappy stack. And as the sun rose higher, dozens gathered to watch as the towering smokestack was demolished. This, the third stage, the third spectacle of the paper mill demolition project. First was four years ago, the empty factory imploded. Then, earlier this summer, the view from Drone 8 as the smaller smokestack was taken down. The paper mill closed in 2009 but had employed hundreds of people for more than 100 years. It had been here Nick Howard's entire life. It's just sadness to see the one the last of the property go down. You know, I grew up here in the neighborhood and it's, you know, kind of a landmark. You know, I told everyone, you know, I told people where I live, I live up the road from the paper mill, Sappy, so it's uh, just sad to see one last, the last thing go down for the most part. But this is no doubt a time of transition, and there's optimism about what will fill the mill's shoes at this site along the lake. An investment group called Pure Muskegon bought the 120-acre property and will transform it into a development called Windward Point. Among the possibilities along the waterfront, a senior living complex, a hotel, restaurants, and more. Howard is hopeful. Then excited to see what's going to come next. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hopefully what comes next is something good for the whole community, the city. From Muskegon, Evan Dean, 24-Hour News 8. Wow, a firm timeline for the redevelopment hasn't been announced yet. As with the demolition of the first smokestack, crews kept onlookers at a distance and evacuated nearby homes because the stacks were covered with asbestos-lined paint.